Kentucky at the Davis County Lions Club Fairgrounds in Owensboro. The rain continues to fall. George Ritter, though, hooks up. He'll be our next puller in Ritter's Critter. And Army, I don't know how long we can continue. Well, Gary, what you have to remember now is the rain is falling, but it's falling on a packed track. These vehicles have cleated tires. The moisture will set on top of the track. The question is, do you have a tire with enough cleat to get down underneath the mud? Well, my question is, will the fans stay and watch this? Oh, one? yeah, we're all having fun. This is what it's all about. See, Ritter's making a good shot. Just picking up a lot of mud. Now, now we're to the point where moisture can actually help you. Well, it didn't help him. 243.67. And look at the moisture on the windshield as he pulls off the helmet. So that will be the end of the night for George Ritter in Ritter's Critter. He'll put that back on the trailer and take her home. Roger Crawford up next out of Wayne, Ohio. This is the Bandit. An 88 Ford 150 with a lift body and Arius Hemi engine. If you look on the screen, you can see dark spots in front of where he's running. That's where the track is packed hardest. Again, the moisture, if you get the sled on top of the moisture, it's almost like running on grease. Crawford knows it, but it's not going to work for him. You watch for this sled to change 180 degrees. It's going to get better for somebody before the night's over. I don't know who the somebody is. Somebody's got a break coming their way. Well, all the competitors very eager to get this evening over with as now we have Robert Smith hook up. You saw his mascot, the uh, big stuffed teddy bear in the passenger side of that cab. The Three Bears Racing Team, the 1982 Chevrolet. A lot of clutch dust comes out of Smith's vehicle. Again, I want you to notice the dark spots in front of it. He's running where other people have run tonight. Meanwhile, the rest of the track is getting real muddy or gooey. And not nearly good enough for Robert Smith at 266.58. So his evening concludes in the rain here in Owensboro. The three Bears pulling team with the big teddy bear mascot in the cab with him. Gary, we're watching a replay come up on the screen. I want you to notice he stays on the left side of the track. Now, the last three trucks have gone to the left. And what that tells me, Gary Lee, is that left side of the track has gone away. We're in a replay status right now. They're back in the sled up to the starting line. Where are they going with the sled for the next puller? Well, the next puller is Glenn Davis, as we can see how hard it is raining. Now, Glenn Davis was out earlier, had a full pull before they added the additional weight. So you talked about this man being able to read a track as well as anybody. Let's see if he knows something the others didn't. Okay. Notice where the sled is right now. They backed it up to the right side of the track. Gary, he's going where no man has gone before. This kid is almost a genius at reading the track. By doing this, what he is speculating on is, I told you about all the goo, he wants to get the sled going in the grease. It'll be easy to pull. 309, if he can, first, if he can get 20 oh, feet. Oh, blocked right there. Yeah, but if he, watch this, watch this. You're going to see something great here. He blocked, though, got back in the throttle and got the horsepower up. And look at this. We're on the end of the track. He's coming at us. 300 feet. 310, oh, 320. Look he's at this. Got it. Look at that. The 330 kid. feet. You talk about doing your homework. It's paying dividends for this kid out of South Florida, Gary. 330.33. Let's look again. Now, watch him bog down just momentarily right there. Well, once he broke traction, so to speak, once he got the sled moving, developed some momentum in the sled, then the sled got up on the slick stuff, the grease, if you will, and then it took very little horsepower to pull it. So the rain has helped him. Exactly. So as some drivers say, I'd rather be lucky than good, and Glenn Davis was lucky this evening. He pulls in a heavy downpour, 330 feet. Army, you're down there in the rain to talk to Glenn. It's hard to believe you can lay down such a run like that, but just as slippery as the track is, it's also as slippery for the sled you're pulling, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. When the uh, ground gets wet like this, it does make more worse traction for your tires, but it also makes the pan slide a little better. But I had a really good hook, and it come down, and uh, looks like I'm ending up pretty good. Well, as the officials take a look at the very wet conditions, we understand now the event has been called official. Mother Nature shortens the pull here in Owensboro, Kentucky. The final results showing Glenn Davis at 330-plus in Mr. Sparkle. Then it's Howard Lewis in the high roller. 
and Dwayne Bakey in the STP polling team. And two drivers were left at the altar because of the weather. No hook due to rain. Tony Osteen, who had the full pull earlier in the Georgia Rebel, and Dave Willoughby in the 1940 Ford. That wraps it up from Owensboro, Kentucky. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now here's news about an exciting video release from Diamond P Sports.